Hi, I'm Karin Kusama, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. I'm introducing Foxes, the Adrian Lyne film from 1980 that starred a young Jodie Foster and Scott Bayo, and also featured a very interesting performance by the rock star Cherie Curie of The Runaways. Meet Jeannie. Annie, Madge, and Deirdre. I saw Foxes in the theater when it was first released, so I was about 12 years old. And at the time, this movie felt really shocking, really rebellious to me. And I think a lot of that had to do with Jodie Foster and her strange mix of empathy for the young point of view, but an incredible sort of maturity and burgeoning adulthood that was in in most of her performances of this era. Uh, the film is about a group of girlfriends in the San Fernando Valley struggling to sort of understand their, their way in the world. And I think there was a nice sense of affection for the characters and a nice sense that they would eventually find their way. What was interesting about the movie is that actually Cherie Curie's character, uh, who was the lead singer of The Runaways, she, in fact, plays a character that you keep thinking is going to make a turnaround, but, but in fact, spoiler alert, she doesn't really. And that, at the time, I think was pretty shocking for me to be a, a young teenager myself and to see that her excessiveness and her sort of out of control sensibility actually did have consequence. I think now it's harder to see those movies where the consequence isn't sugar-coated. And so as, deeply aestheticized as this movie was. This was Adrian Lyne's first feature, and he became, I think, very well known for a, a very glossy finish to his movies, uh, most famously with a film like Fatal Attraction. I think there's still a grittiness to this film and to the sense that young lives actually are in the balance of something, and that there is a possibility that things can go terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, the film also has some very interesting performances from Sally Kellerman, and also from a young Randy Quaid. It's a movie that really stuck with me when I was a young teenager myself.